I put digital stabilization on. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I found eight ads that lost me the faith I used to have in humanity, and we go through them today. I just got something even worse. I'm selling that Siriu 24mm 1.2 for Micro Four Thirds. In the title of my ad, it says that. Micro Four Thirds. And then in the thing, it's like, used on Panasonic, Micro Four Thirds, M43, all the tags. And so this guy is like, okay, I'll come pick it up. I'll come tomorrow morning. You ready? I just get a text from him. He's on his way. He said, I just want to make sure that it's compatible with my Canon 5D Mark IV. Why would it be? Nothing is. It's Micro Four Thirds. There's no situation that that lens will ever work in your life. Why are you messaging me? You didn't read the title or the ad. Why? I was so excited to finally be selling that lens. Oh, man. Will a Canon SL3 camera attach to my bigger camera? Somehow with the mounts? Burn in hell. Lot of 18 broken compact digital cameras. All have problems, error messages, broken battery doors, broken lens covers, spots on some of the sensors. One HP lens can't retract back. Lens covers broken. Selling for parts only. All have problems. Not one of them works. Remove your filth from the internet. What are you doing? Your garage should be set on fire. You have nothing of value. Nobody needs anything for parts. I've never met a man buying electronics. Oh, I need this conductor piece for my radio. Like, what are you doing with the parts? I get that there's do-it-yourself MacGyver who are building things and antennas. Oh, I can get the signal of my air fryer to my watch. And you can't just buy one of his broken cameras. You have to buy all 18 of them for $120. You could actually buy one working camera for that. What are you gonna build with that? Can you tape all the sensors together until it's full frame? I want it, I'll buy it. Sigma 50mm 1.4 for Sony. Price is firm, blows the Sony 55mm Zeiss away. Does it? Oh, is that your opinion? So you think Sigma the dumbest company ever existing somehow lucked out and made a better than the best Zeiss lens ever made. That 55 is a cult classic. It has more 3D pop than anything. You Even 2D creatures can appreciate the 3D vision of it. They only see a flat circle sphere thing disappearing before them, but they're like, I think that's 3D. Everyone knows Zeiss is the best. A Sigma? Blowing the Zeiss away in what area? The corner sharpness up here? Are you blown? Is the image stabe tracking me? That's what I wanted to see. Sometimes Canon digital stabe will like lock on your eye. It's not good content. So grow some dignity, you sack. That, that lens? is so disappointing. Have I ever tried it? No. But I know in my heart what's gonna come forth. It's gonna be bullshit. Oh, super sharp. Oh, the background's more blurry. See, it's better. Look how sharp the tunnel is in the corner. Wow. Better than Zeiss. Nothing is. Only Leica and Voigtlander, maybe. And Canon EF lenses. How bad is this Nikon 24 to 70 to where they would pay you to take it over the original with no lens. It's cheaper with the lens. It's a Tony 4. It's a zoom. Losers would use it. Photographers with their flash and they're sinking at frickin' 1 30th of a second trying to get kangaroos and shit. How bad is that? Like, damn. You buy that one, sell it. And then you get the body for like 20 dingers. I hope the Nikon Z6 III has something good. It's already getting more and more disappointing the more news leaks. Uh, apparently I thought we were getting 6K raw in it and I was like, 6K 60p maybe? No. 
we're getting like 6k 30 not raw what's the point what, what are you doing what's that gonna do for me nothing the higher resolution without being able to slow it down for what for shopping sprees canon camera has an error code 32 dollars i don't like your price i don't like the randomness of the numbers you chose usually it's like right on 30 bucks some people know 29.99 I'll literally find pennies, even though they're outlawed by our government. I will pay you that 99 cents. $32. It's too much. I don't like the even unevenness. I have to find change. It's a bad camera to start with. It doesn't work. It has an error code. That means it no longer works. You're going to buy the other 18 cameras and then mix this one in to complete your whole system. Your show's gonna suck. Canon 1400 IS, that's the upgrade. I used to have the 1100 IS. That's how I started my YouTube channel. That was my first real digital camera. And this would be better than that if it worked, but it doesn't. It has a lens error, just like mine did. When I was, I upgraded to the Sony WX350 with worse color science and smaller sensor, if anything. I gave that old 1100 to my mom, and she used it for a bit, and then boom, lens error. That's a thing on those stupid things. Why is it $80? I could buy a new one that worked for about that. Your camera doesn't work anymore, so you lower the price to like maybe $20 and someone's curious about it. Like, I'll give it to my toddler, and he'll like get used to pressing buttons and stuff, even though the lens... It's never going to retract and it's going to poke his eye out. But, oh, it touched. How do you get it to latch on? What is the movement that I have to do? It's bad content. People are so out of touch with reality when it comes to this stuff. Like, there's a guy that keeps reposting his ad every single day, if not twice a day. Because I check these things all the time. I check Zeiss in my area to see, like, who's released anything. I'll buy a Zeiss lens in, in a heartbeat. This guy has a point-and-shoot Sony with a Zeiss lens. It's $85. And every day he posts that thing. I'm like, nobody is looking for that. And it works. Nobody wants it. What's it even do? 7 megapixels. That's too much. It's too much. Canon XL1 camcorder, classic. Needs a battery. So it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna come to your house. Oh, that's cool. Does it work? It might. You have to buy a battery. They're old, so probably $150 on eBay for the battery, but you just buy it and then come and buy this and test it and see if it works. That's your job. You're the one selling it. You're the one that buys the battery to sell it. $150. What does that thing even do? I can't even tell by the shape. It looks like a pyramid. It doesn't even look like a camera. You have all these holes in the red. What's the red thing? I don't like it. It's a half sphere. Those 2D creatures would see that and be like, that's Zeiss Pop. It's better than a Sigma. You could buy so much for $150 these days. Looking for any camcorder. You could get like an actual modern one. If not brand new for roughly that working battery zoom range what does this thing do the lens is gray you got a pyramid on the thing with holes in it what do you attach hot shoes pointed to the side do you do side vlogs you film it oh i just want to hear the people that are out of the shot i hate you a nikon zf body brand new with receipt i'm selling it zero shutters never mounted original box everything original is gonna be 30 50 with tax save yourself fifty dollars why do you have it and why are you selling it there's a lot of digging that i have to wonder investigate what are you doing with that body like how come you have it and how come you never mounted it or tried it you've never taken a photo never put a lens on it why is it in your possession and why are you selling it why didn't you try it why don't you have a lens and why didn't you click a shutter and send it to my channel for 
critique. No one trusts you. You have a camera that you've never used, and why do you have it? Why would anybody just forego the warranty and just go with you instead for $50 off? It should be 300 off at minimum. You bought it. You made a mistake. You didn't even try it. You don't know if that's the best camera ever made. No one will ever know. No one's buying it from you, ever. It reminds me of all these fake deals you see online where like for Boxing Day or Black Friday type of stuff and you see like $400 off Z8 bodies. Like that's the brand new price. It's never been $53.99 anywhere, ever. Why are you lying to say, oh, it saves so much. The Nikon Z30 save $150, only $8.99. It's like $600. I bought mine for $524. It was used. It didn't come with a lens, but still, that's the ballpark we're looking at. I hate the sneakiness of it and the sliminess. It's like, oh, you're saving so much. It was never that price. I used to see Canadian Tire had these like 90% off sales. I think that those might have been legit. You get a whole frying pan set. Wow, it's like, wow, it used to be that, but was it? Now I rethink it. Were those even good deals? I doubt it. Because when you start with a lie, oh, my Huawei P40 Pro now $3,000 off. What? It's only 600? From, it was 36, huh? I'll buy three of them. I'll give them out as gift, wait. It never was that price? So I just bought. I got a bad deal, and I bought three of them. My family, sure they're gonna get the best slow motion footage they've ever seen, but come on, come on, now is it worth it? It can't be, there's no way, sure, that's worth it to me, no matter what the price is, but come on, grow up. So I think we're done, was there any more? No, we're done. Have you seen any ads that sucked lately? Buying used is the secret, and super cheap. I just wait to pounce on things that I see like, wow, that's really cheap for a good deal. Something's wrong with it, but it's, I can deal with the problem. It's not too bad. I'll use it for parts. I buy those 18 cameras and patch it on there with the sensors. I'll leave. Subscribe for when I say it.